Okay, moving on to the receiver section of the ES40CV. It is working as you can hear. And we've currently got a one microvolt signal on the signal generator with these very awkward slider controls. And I'll just need to plug my extension speaker into the socket which is uh, connects us through the test equipment. There we go. I'll drop the signal a bit because that's quite well, not that much. Okay. The first coil is transformer one. The second coil is transformer two. actually gain some on that uh, transformer one. Third one is transformer three. Fourth one is transformer four. Then on to transformer five. And then I th think it's the detector, which is transformer 11, which is that one there. I'll just switch the camera on so you can see the left-hand oscilloscope without my head. I'll just move the light a bit. So we're looking for maximum audio on that. I've just gone and turned the wrong one, because it's that one. So it's uh, transformer 11. We'll backtrack on the other one in a moment. Oh yes, that's a huge improvement. There we go. Back the scene of is back off. And just go back to Transformer 5 that I upset. There we go. Okay, it's now receiving down to 0.2 of a microvolt. So that's a, quite a vast improvement on the receiver. But you see how easy it is. I went straight for. I thought I, I thought that was the detector, in spite of having already done it. You just take lose concentration for one moment, but at least I can go back and sort it out, which is now being done. So. Um, Next we need to set the signal meter, so we'll go back to an S9 signal on the uh, test set and it should be RV2, which is that one, and it is. Now I'm just going to move up to a plus 30 signal and it has indeed illuminated the plus 30, so that's fine. And now we'll check the squelch, so we'll turn the signal generator to the off position, set the squash to threshold. There we go. Switch the generator back on. I'd like a bit more sensitivity than that. And the three, I think it is. That's the squash one. So now we'll have to find out what. Um, RV201 is. Right, so we'll just um, 
set the squelch for threshold again. See how that performs if I set the squelch to full. See if we can get a bit more sensitivity out of it. I'll just make a note on my diagram here that um, RV3 is the squelch. I'll just set that to minimum and just see how that performs. Set the threshold. And the generator on. Yes, that's fine. And now we'll set the squash to full. And it comes in at S9, uh, which is 100 microvolts. Yes, so that's now working how we'd expect it to work. Good. So I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to look at the circuit diagram for RV201 and just see where in the circuit it is and what I think it does. Okay, I've worked out what the mystery preset does, RV201. It's actually an automatic volume control uh, setting for the transmit microphone. So it's linked in with the deviation. Now I was only getting uh, 2.1 deviation, adjusting the mic um, automatic volume control has brought that up to the full 2.5, so they're used together, so that's kind of a sensitivity type of arrangement, a bit like mic gain. So uh, yes, that's now set up a treat. So that concludes the setup, we'll put it back together and we'll see what happens when we put it on the air.